The next big thing is the solstice coming up. The solstice. June, June 21st, 21st, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, 1215. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. We are taking a look at our Doppler. It is scanning dry. I'm noticing a little stray little shower up here in Massachusetts. It's just materialized uh, over uh, months in there, but uh, it shouldn't have too much of an impact on Connecticut. You might see a little pop-up shower this afternoon, but for the most part, we're done with the rotten weather. The rain, the beneficial rain, though, you got to look at it both ways. We did need the rain, and we picked up about an inch and a half of it as we uh, went through this morning into uh, about nine o'clock this morning. As you can see, the storm system is pulling up and away. Just a couple of lingering, that little tiny shower that I just pinpointed for you materializing there uh, in parts of Massachusetts. But we're pretty good to go. Yeah, there are a couple of scattered showers back to the north and west, but they're very minimal, so we're not expecting too much in the way of action. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at early one future cast. Tomorrow's weather today, you'll notice mostly clear skies through the rest of the afternoon with mostly clear skies tonight. It's going to be a delightful evening. Let Mother Nature do the air conditioning for you because the temperatures are going to be dropping into the mid to upper 50s this evening. And then Friday, we just ran through Friday looking awesome. And even Saturday, most of this precipitation is going to stay to the south. But we do run the risk for an isolated shower Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. It's not going to be a washout by any means. Most of the day is dry, but we do run that risk for a scattered shower. Notice I just ran the clock down through 7 p.m. So that's some better news for the weekend. Beautiful skyline right now in New Haven. We've got a mixture of sun and clouds out there as they look like they're getting ready for a big fair on the New Haven Green. 78 degrees. That's pretty mild. And it's sticky out there. The dew points are rivaling those temperatures. They're in the upper 60s, if not low 70s. So the dew points are going to be coming down as we move through the day today as well. 80 degrees right now at Bradley. Beautiful skyline in Torrington. A mixture of clouds and sunshine and more of the same in Waterbury. So that's some good news. Look at Old Saybrook. A little bit of a breeze out there as well. Here are the temperatures. I bumped the numbers up a little bit from uh, this morning. 80 at Bradley right now, 82 at Brainerd, and those dew points. Now, Windsor Locks, you were at 70 a couple of minutes ago, so we're starting to get that drier air coming in on a northwesterly flow. Still a 70 degree dew point in Chester, though, so that's a little sticky. And we're up anywhere from 2 to 5 to 6 degrees better than where we were 24 hours ago. There are those winds, 12 to 12, uh, 17 miles an hour sustained. I have seen some gusts 20 to 25 miles an hour, but it's nothing we can't withstand. All right, so as we move through the day today. We'll top it out right around 80 degrees, which is where we are with abundant sunshine. More of the same for the immediate shoreline, pretty close to that 80 degree mark with abundant sunshine. So get out there and enjoy. Once again, the satellite and radar proving that that shower activity is now well off the coast. Okay, temperatures today top out in the low 80s for uh, Enfield and Hartford and we'll be in the upper 70s for everybody else. 79 tomorrow, beautiful day tomorrow. Saturday, just a chance for an isolated shower. More of the same for Sunday, a chance for an isolated shower. Most of the day is dry. And then Monday, a better chance for some showers. Tuesday and Wednesday are dry with a temperature of 79 on Tuesday and then warmer, 83 degrees on Wednesday. 12